what's up you guys welcome to our youtube channel today i am going to be showing you guys how i make my nice delicious smooth creamy shepherd's pie okay we love shepherd's pie i love when i make it my kids love when i make it and my boyfriend also loves when i make it okay so i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys all the ingredients that i am using here is my original croissants um i got some potatoes um i got some mixed vegetables when you do do the mixed vegetables please make sure you get the ones that does not have potatoes in them already okay <coughs> excuse me i'm sorry <laughs> um that was my cheese my mild cheddar my triple cheese and my mexican four cheese um i have my heavy whipping cream and i have my pan to spray my pan for my croissants and right here i am going to go ahead and go ahead and put my ground ground chuck in um, my pan that is about two pounds two pounds and a half maybe of my ground chuck um, i use the whole thing because i'm making a pretty big pan for my family and i so i went on ahead and browned it up for you guys i went on ahead and drained the meat um i seasoned my meat after it is drained um i do not season it while it is cooking i wait till it's drained and i drain it off and then that's when i go ahead and season it because that's when the seasoning actually sticks okay so here i am going it out with all my season i use the black pepper the complete seasoning i got the season salt with the himalaya salt in it and um uh, i have my salt free onion and herb and then i have my garlic salt um you guys can season whatever you want to season with and i just go with my gut with seasoning my stuff i just keep seasoning until my ancestors tells me to stop and actually i really do um taste my food to see if it need more salt or whatever and then here i am just going ahead and just peeling my potatoes i love to use regular potatoes i do not like using the mashed potatoes in a box i like to actually make my own mashed potatoes for my shepherd's pie that's the only way we eat mashed potatoes and i am going to go ahead and just you know cut them up dice them up real good so uh they can all cook evenly um so yeah and then i'm going to take you guys with me to go ahead and rinse off my potatoes um the potatoes will be so dirty so please make sure you wash off your potatoes um i wash my potatoes about two or three times to make sure that my water is clear before i actually start boiling my potatoes and while my potatoes were boiling i did go ahead and go take me a shower <laughs> just because um, it took a minute for them to go ahead and get soft so i just went ahead and took me a bath and got that out the way so now that you see that my potatoes um and the water is very clear because i rinsed them off about two or three times that's how you will want your water for your potatoes okay you don't want no dirty water and then for dessert we are going to be eating the brownies i love me some brownies i am going to be using the i got a stick of butter unsalted butter that's a whole stick i got my two eggs and i got my um whole milk and i put in my vanilla extract okay first thing first i am going ahead and going to throw in my batter and i'm going ahead in with my unsalted butter and i'm going ahead and crack open my two eggs and go ahead and put them in there i'm gonna put everything in first before i give it the big stir and then i'm going to go in with a teaspoon of vanilla extract um i actually got this off of a uh, tiktok i was watching tiktok and i decided to try it out so there i did put the teaspoon of vanilla extract in the bowl and then i am going to go ahead and put in three tablespoons of whole milk instead of water um i did make these a couple days ago and they were so good when i changed it to this recipe okay i tell you no lie <laughs> you guys should try it out and see how you yours will turn out okay and then here i am just going ahead and give it a big stir before i go ahead and put it in my pan um i went on ahead and sprayed my pan with the pam original um spray i went on ahead and put it in there um while um off camera <laughs> and then here i am i got it in there nice and good okay all right so 
now my potatoes are done they are very soft when i stuck a fork in them it, it broke apart okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put a whole stick of unsalted butter in there i use unsalted butter heavy whipping cream and i do use sour cream don't knock it until you try it because it is really good okay you don't even taste the sour cream <laughs> it just makes it more creamy so that's why i do it i always done it and that's how i always make my potatoes okay i won't tell you nothing wrong all right and then i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my garlic salt um i like to um smash and mix my potatoes up until they have like a creamy consistency um that's how i like my mashed potatoes you know you guys can make your mashed potatoes however you guys would like to make your mashed potatoes okay and then here i go in with my smasher go ahead and smash out my potatoes and my butter is going to melt um i always use a whole stick of butter and then here i am with the sour cream like i said i love to use the sour cream because it makes it more creamy with the heavy whipped cream it make it more creamy so i ended up putting more in there off camera and i went on ahead and put more of the heavy whipped cream off camera as well because this is how i like my mashed potatoes and then after i'm done with all that then i go in with my seasonings this seasoned salt with himalaya salt is actually pretty good i like this um and i don't use as much because my boyfriend has high blood pressure so i try not to use too much salt in our foods um but you guys can season however you want to season you guys food okay so i'm gonna go ahead and give this a pretty good mix um i did try it um to see if it had enough salt um i did season it more off camera and of course i tried it to make sure i didn't have too much salt in there um so and then this right here is the chicken bouillon okay it is so good like i sprinkle some of that up in there and it is really good please try it do not knock it until you try it. It is really, really, really good. Okay. I love this stuff. I pretty much use it for pretty much everything um, besides like eggs. Because <laughs> who want that in eggs? Okay. I use regular salt for my eggs. Anyways, back to the mashed potatoes. Um, I'm going ahead and stir that up. And then I'm going to go ahead and spread out my ground beef i put my ground beef in the bottom of the pan first because you see this is a pretty pretty big pan that i'm going to make because we is going to eat leftovers okay tomorrow i'm not cooking nothing so this is going to be for leftovers as well as well as for tonight okay so like i was saying i do like to use um the mixed vegetables that does not have the potatoes in there because if you have the mixed vegetables with the potatoes it is going to be like lumpy and i don't like why all your other mashed potatoes is smooth rich and creamy you're gonna have that lump of potatoes um so i'm going to go ahead and with my cheese um that was the rest of that um four cheese mexican that i had put in there and then i put a half bag of the sharp cheddar or i think it was mild cheddar i'm not really sure i don't know i, I looked away for a minute so i'm not sure <laughs> excuse me for that and then look at my daughter she was trying to help me but i'm like girl i got this you know i got this you know i always make the best shepherd's pie okay our shepherd pie my shepherd pie be so freaking good they love when i make it okay and then, like I was saying about the mixed vegetable, yes, that is the kind to get. So make sure, be careful when you're going to the store. I'm going to tell you again, make sure you do not get the mixed vegetables with the potatoes in there because you already use them, uh, mashed potatoes. So you don't want to put the whole potatoes in there. And then it's not smushed up like how you want it to be. So I use two of them because I'm making a big pan. Um, and some people use different vegetables, or you could just use corn, mixed vegetables. Um, it just really depends on how you want to do it and don't mind my stove okay i put foil on my stove to catch all the stuff i am going to actually clean it tomorrow okay so don't come for me in the comments or nothing <laughs> so 
I'm gonna go ahead and put my mashed potatoes on top. I like to put my meat first, my cheese, and then I go ahead and go in with my vegetables, okay? And then I just evenly spread out my mashed potatoes. Just look, just look at the mashed potatoes. They just look so good, y'all. When I end up dumping all that out, my daughter was over there licking the pot before I got ready to wash it. <laughs> That is how good my mashed potatoes be, okay? And she was just letting me know that um, I needed to get that spot right there, which I already seen that I was going to get it. So, yeah, like, it's, it's, I really hope you guys really enjoy this video and you guys try this recipe. If you haven't made it before, go ahead and try it out. It's a really quick dish. Um, it's really good. Um, if you make a big pan, um, it could be enough for another day and so on and so on so on top i'm going to go ahead so it was mild cheddar so on top i'm going to go ahead and put my mild cheddar on top and then as i put my mild cheddar on top i will go ahead with another bag of cheese because i like cheese in the middle of my shepherd's pie and i like cheese on the top of my shepherd's pie i know it's people that um just put it in the middle of the shepherd's pie but i like it in the middle and on top okay it's way more better and it's a 10 out of 10 and then I am going to go ahead and show you guys this cheese. I got the triple milk, creamy milk, triple cheddar. Um, this cheese is actually really good. I love um, this kind of cheese. So I always put it on the top of my shepherd's pie, my um, stuffed shells. And I also put it on there when I make my macaroni and cheese. Okay. I love that kind of cheese. Okay. But yeah, I just evenly spread my cheese out. And then I pop it in the oven. And then here it is. Here's my brownies. Don't worry about my croissants, okay? <laughs> I kind of forgot about them for a little minute. But yeah, you guys, please like, share, and comment. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.